Ladies and gentlemen, uh, damas and cavaliers. Uh, my name is Vigniew Kubiatowski. I'm a PhD student of last year and a peer and science communication specialist in the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnology, Polish Academy of Science. Uh, I'm really glad to be here, especially because you told today a lot about the uh, problem of founding your projects. And uh, I hope that I give you another idea how to do it to crowdfund. Okay. Uh, to talk about crowdfunding uh, of archaeology, we need to start from definition of word crowdfunding. Uh, you see this, uh, this uh, definition on this slide, so I just skip to more wild, uh, wide explanation. explanation. Crowdfunding is a type of fundraising based on internet. First, we have uh, to have an idea, a project, something that we want to do. We place uh, our project on a special crowdfunding internet portal. It can look like that. It's a Polish crowdfunding portal. And on this portal, we create a mini website for our project when we can put all information about it information about us, about our institution, and of course our project. We need to write what we want to do, how we want to do, and of course uh, why we want to do it. Uh, then we need to specify, uh, specify our financial goal. It means how much uh, money we want to collect. After we create uh, our project, internauts can donate it through crowdfunding portals. Uh, why they do it? Why they support our project? Crowdfunding is based on reward system. Planning our project, we need to create a list of gifts for our donators. For example, for 10 euro, we send them a photos from our excavation. From 20 euro, we send them photos and an archaeological calendar. For 30 euros, Photos, archaeological calendar, for example, a book, and so on and so on. But reward system is not the most important thing in crowdfunding. Thanks to crowdfunding portals, internauts can donate projects that interest them. On the internet, there is a lot of crowdfunding portals, and we can found projects of any kind. We can support archaeological excavation, home for lonely animals, city of new band, or just a new business. So crowdfunding gives us a possibility to easily become a part uh, of a project that we believe in. And because of it, it has a big so, uh, sociolog sociological influence. We can be a part of a project that is important to us, that we believe in. And it makes us feel to be a better person. Uh, we can feel that we do something good. And how you see later, there, are, uh, there is a lot of people that believe and want to support archaeology and heritage projects. But there is also all, always a catch. In crowdfunding, uh, it's a hide in uh, finan financial plans. Uh, if we don't collect all money that we plan to collect, we get nothing. Only projects that achieve 100% or more uh, of uh, funding get their money. Now the short history of crowdfunding. Uh, first crowdfunding action was made in 1997. Internauts collect money to organize a tour of American band Marilna. Three years later, first crowdfunding portal was created. Uh, it was a portal when internauts could, could support a new music group. Nine years later, start the most popular crowdfunding portal, a Kickstarter. So how much crowdfunding is working? Kickstarter report, Kickstarter portal report from uh, 2014 inform us that in this year, in their portal, was made 22,252 projects that achieved <coughs> their financial goal on total value of uh, 500 29 million of dollars. Uh, so it's quite big business. Now let's see how much of this cake can be a part of archaeological and heritage projects. Uh, to 2014, we have uh, 
we had a 35 project uh, connected with archaeology and heritage. Half of them uh, achieved their financial goal, which is uh, comparable of uh, global statistics. Three successful projects had financial goal exceeding a level of 20,000 euro. Rest of them was, a, uh, was on level not exceeding 10,000 euro. From this time, many more projects was made. Some of them was built on local, especially national, crowdfunding portal, so their, their number is hard to specify. But, numbers of, uh, but these numbers show that archaeological projects can be financed to crowdfund. Now I, now I want to show you three examples of uh, archaeological projects uh, found to crowdfunding. Uh, first of them, People Not Stone is a social project directed to, the, to a, a little society live near an ancient city in Peru. Organizers of this project learn people, people how to take benefits from touristic that is based on the local cultural heritage. They learn them how to make a traditional pottery, fabric and jewelry, build a touristic infrastructure and train guides. Local society understand that they can, make, they can take benefits from their cultural heritage as long as uh, this, cult this cultural heritage is in good shape. For me, this is an example of win-win situation. It shows that heritage and society can function in symbiosis. Local society care of ancient ruins. Ruins give them resources to life. And there is a second project that I want to show. Uh, it's uh, also funding to tra through crowdfunding, but in a li little different way. Dig Ventures create a classical archaeological excavation project, but they don't put it on crowdfunding portal. They collect money through their own website, and this is a first difference. Second difference is a type of gifts for donors. The primary gift in this project was a possibility to go to the site and work as a member of archaeological team. For £125, donors can work with the crew for a one day, but for uh, £1,300, they can work as an archaeologist for a week. 130 persons support this project and go to work as archaeologists to the excavations. This type of involvement donators have less two positive impacts. First of all, donators can participate in excavations. They can feel on their own skin how taste archaeological field works. It also great way to understand how look scientific model uh, uh, of work uh, with heritage, how arch archaeologists find uh, relics and what they do with them. But donators can also understand why archaeologists need so much time and resources for excavation. So through work on site, donators' knowledge about archaeology but also about heritage and history on their region is increasing. To get together with donator knowledge, increasing a good social, social perce perception of archaeology and cultural, cultural heritage studies. Second important case is involvement local society in work on their own local history. This involvement can have a good impact of cultural heritage preservation. For our own experience, we know that this, uh, that things that cost us a lot of work are more important for us. The same is with cultural heritage. Donators that have possibility to work on excavation have a chance to understand how fragile is our heritage and how much work we need to preserve it for the next generation. So there is a chance that after this experience, they will join a cultural heritage preservation process in their areas. After success of first uh, project, Dick Venture Company organized other excavations based on this model of funding and organization. They, they successfully involved many people in their projects as a donators and as a volunteers. <coughs> 
For me, this project is an excellent example of even a proof that crowdfunding can be not only a way to found archaeology but or heritage projects, but also can involve people, especially donators, in heritage preservation projects or even a scientific research. It also can have a, posi a positive impact for archaeology and archaeologists' PR. And the last project that I want to show you is a project from my hood. Uh, unusual cemetery on Old Slavs is a project made in my institute, in this Institute of Archaeology and Ethnology, Polish Academy of Sciences. And it was my idea. This project is related with excavation in a little village named Hodlik, where we can find a, a early medieval stronghold, stronghold and a burial place. A team led by Dr. Lukasz Miechowicz had a problem to find money for excavation, so we decided to try to get funding to, uh, through crowdfunding. We create a profile on Polish crowdfunding portal named Polak Potrafi that can be translated as a Pol can do this. We wasn't, this was the first crowdfunding, uh, archaeological crowdfunding project in Poland, so we wasn't sure that Polish internet supports that kind of project. So we decide to build a ladder of goals that we will be depend of sum of money that we will collect. Minimum to carry uh, out with our excavation was 5,000 5, uh, water. It's about 1,000 euros, so it's not so much. And it uh, was our official limit. Next goal was depend on extra money above this limit. Between five and 10,000 water, we want to do some extra work not only on cemetery, but also on the stronghold and other places in our region. On the limits of 10,000 water, we prepare a special educa educational program for a local commu community. Program include lesson for children from local schools, little exhibition, and prolection for local folks. As you see, uh, we collect twice more money uh, than our goal was. So we could do the excavation, additional field research, an educational program. Especially contact with the local society, society give us a insignificant benefits that made our work much easier in next season. I present this project uh, to you not only to show off, but also to show you that everyone uh, can use the crowdfunding not only to found his, uh, his ideas, but also to promote archaeology as a science and include a, a, in cultural preservation process members of a local societies. So, resume. Uh, I hope that I prove you that crowdfunding can be a way to found your archaeological projects. If you have a good idea and describe it in an interesting way, you have a big chance to get all money you need to achieve your goals. But there is always a catch. Crowdfunding is based on one-time actions. If we want to use crowdfunding year by year to get money for all our excavation season, especially on one side, we will be probably fail. It's because internets want to see uh, effect of their project as soon as this possible. And uh, I'm pretty sure that they don't found excavation on the same site more than once. Of course, there are portal like Patreons where we can create a profile uh, of our institution on our project. Uh, but uh, there is a story for another presentation. Uh, I hope, uh, on, the end I, on the end I hope that I not only convi convince you that crowdfunding is an interesting way to found your project, but, but also is a tool to involve local society in archaeology research and preservation of cultural heritage. And this is all. Thank you very much.